Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, once again with the man, the legend as they call him. Hal Bell. How you doing today, Hal? Great, Mr. Oscar. I'm doing good. All right, Hal, we're talking about the uh, Cleveland Indians. One game away from reaching the World Series. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was reading an article today. I want to compare the Pirates to the Indians. Okay. Cleveland's payroll is 114.7. Okay. The Pirates is 105.8. I don't know if that's the beginning or the end. It might be the beginning. Okay. Uh, Cleveland at the deadline uh, as Andrew Miller, the number yes. one, one of the top yes, pitchers I on the mean, market. He's been a total stud. They had to give up a lot of stuff to get him. They tried to get Luke Roy, Jonathan Luke Roy, but he wouldn't go there because they wanted him to play DH in first base. Okay. And he thought his trade value, his free agency value would go down. So you can't blame him for that, but they tried. Now, my question to you, Hal, is uh, Pirates management's been in place since 07, Huntington, okay. Coonley, nothing's been there for a while okay. longer. Cleveland just named their general manager, Mike Chernoff, last October. Okay. Okay. The only difference in the two teams right now, Cleveland's 28th in attendance, Pittsburgh's 18th. Yeah. But that should change next year. Uh, why is Cleveland able to win in October when it counts? And why is Pittsburgh sitting at home watching the TV, telling all the fans their usual thing, you know, this is going to be the year we're going to sign this guy. We were this. We were close. Well, because you have an owner that does care about winning. You all said about it, yeah. And it seems like the Pirates are taking the extra money and stuffing it in their pocket like the three with, with, with uh, Larry Otto. The Pirates actually gave away to prospects, which sort of surprised me a little bit because they hold on to the prospects. Okay? But they did that in order for Toronto to pay his full salary. 13.6, yeah, they said yeah. 13.6. So where's that put the pilots? You know? I mean, they're a, a bottom line team, and bottom line means in, in the up black. Okay, how do you think the Pirates are going to ever get to where the Indians are? Are they going to ever get to this the point where the Indians are? Can well, they get there? Uh, you know what? I can't really see it in, in the future, because the Indians are a type of team, like, at the trading deadline, would get a player or two to really help them with the best drive. Right. And the uh, Pirates won't. Okay, and all of the Pirates' moves are going to be uh, cost-cutting and saving money. I, I agree so with you. So they're going to have to just win, win with what they got from uh, April 1. I agree with you. The man, so, as usual, we appreciate it. And it's making me jealous. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to watch the Indians win, win a, a pennant you know, within the next couple of days. And I haven't seen it from the Pirates. And the Pirates had every ample op op opportunity. Like you said, how it's all bottom line. line. Money, the black, that's what yes. counts. They're not winning on the field. Winning on the field is secondary. Yes. Putting, the, Making money, the black, the bottom line number is number one, right? Yes. As usual, we appreciate the man, the legend, the candor, the honor. Yeah. How about?